All right, everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new Sudoku. So, this one we've got is called Gordian Knot. It's by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. So, let's get into these rule sets. There's not a ton of them. So, we've got normal Sudoku rules apply. So, every row, column, and box must contain a complete set of digits one through nine. It's just your normal Sudoku rules. And then we have little, little killer sums. So numbers outside the grid give the sum of the digits along the indicated diagonal. Digits may repeat if allowed by other rules. Uh, actually, let me reduce myself a little bit so I'm not covering all those rules. There we go. And now, so we've got little killer rules. So essentially what that means is that along this diagonal where this is pointing these two digits need to equal five along this diagonal where this is pointing these all have to equal 38 and those are the rules so well two rules one is just normal circle rules so not a whole lot there to work with but it looks like it's going to work out so let's get into this and see where we can get started so on little killer rules best places to start are usually really short uh, clues that have high values. This is short, but it's not high. Or very long clues that have smaller values. This one's fairly small for five digits. Uh, so what does that, does that do anything for us? Okay. So what's the bare minimum these could be? This could be one, two, and this could be one, two. So it's three and three at six. This could be up to seven, so not great. This 15, let's, when we look at clues that have something already in them. So this 15 already has nine, so I can only get six more. So these could be one, two, and these can be one, two, and they equal six. That's the bare minimum they can be, so they have to be that. Now, I've got something here on this 36. Maybe this will do something. So what's the maximum these can be? So we've got 9 and 8, which is 17, plus 8, because so it can't be 9, which would be 25, plus another 9 is 34. And then you can only use one or two, so it would have to be the two. So those have to all be maximums. So this has to be nine, this has to be eight. These have to be nine and eight, okay? Now that gives us a nine up here somewhere. I don't know if I want to go there yet. Now this 13. So it's got an eight or a nine on it now. So what we said before, these could only be one, two at the least, which is three. This could be one, which would be four. And this could be one, which would make it five at the bare minimum. And the least this can possibly is eight. So eight and five equal 13. Sorry, my phone ding there. I don't know if you heard that or not. Hopefully you didn't. That's eight, that's nine. I said these all have to be ones. And this has to be a one, two, and there's a one there. Or there's a two there, sorry. So that has to be a one. So that is one, two. Now, does this one give me this 29? Because we've got a one here, and we've got a maximum of two here. So this could be one plus nine, which is 10, plus eight is 18, plus nine is 27, plus two. So yes, those are all maximums. So I said this has to be nine, this has to be eight, and this has to be nine. So we've gone around in a little circle here, which is nice. What else do we have? Now this eight can't have one or two on it, because the ones see both of those, and the twos see both of those. So this has to be at least be three, five. Well, it has to be three, five, because it can't be four, four. Okay, that's something. Now there is no three or five yet in grids, so I can't quite rule uh, which one's which. 
Um, this 12. It can't have a 9 on it, and it can't have an 8 on it. So it has to be 7, 5, because you can't do 6, 6. We've got a 7, so we've got a 5, no, 5. Let me start typing. In. I've got to get in the habit of typing. So I'm not, my cursor's not flying all around the screen. It might take me a while. Bear with me. So, but just determine this is 5 and 7. That 5 means this is 3 and 5. So this 37 doesn't really look like we have too much to work with yet. This 38 is kind of the same. The 5, well, we know it can't be 4, 1, because there's a 1 here, so it has to be 2, 3. And since there's a 2 here, that's 3, that's 2. Now we've got some Sudoku we can do. That is 2, not could be. Uh, one of these is 2. Uh, that's a 2. That's a 2. And one of these is a 2. What about the 1s? Are we doing them? Yeah, that's 1. That's 1. That's 1. And that's 1. So that's all the 1s. Yeah, okay. 3. Anything doing there? That doesn't look like it does it no so we have some ones and twos that are going to start lining up with some of these other digits we might be able to go to another little killer clue continue that way i don't know if there's anything up on here any fours we don't have any sixes we don't have any sevens and eights but there's not enough ruling that stuff out yet. Actually, that is a lie. That, that, and that cannot be 8. So this is 8. So we know one of these is 7. And the other two digits are 4 and 6. Okay, I'm not going to mark that yet. So How about this 37 now? Because so we've got a lot of small numbers on it. We've got... Nine right now total, and we're gonna need twenty eight more in these digits. So the most this can be is seven, so you need twenty one more. Most this can be is seven, so we need fourteen more. The most this one can be is eight, so we would need six more. And this could be six. So it looks like we've, it could also be seven. So we have, we've got one, why can't I think of the word? We've got, <laughs> it's not coming to my brain. Point is, we're one away from being a min-max type of situation. So we only have one digit of leeway. That's probably the best way to put it. So what did I say? This would either be seven or six. Oh, here's the obvious thing we do before we start typing and all stuff. This can never be two. Because if this was two, we'd have a separation of five between what that is and what the highest it could be. And we only have one away, so that can't be two. So this has to be two. Which makes that two. Those can go away. So now our twos are done. Okay. So let's go back to this. This one could be six or seven. This one could be eight or seven. And this could be seven or six. Okay. Uh, it didn't really get us too much. Got us the twos. So it got, got us too much. If you want to have a terrible pun. So, what's the next place to look? I still don't think this 38 is going to do much because there's still tons of open space there. What about this 13? Can't have a 9 on it because of these 9s. Can't have an 8 on it. So, it has to be 7, 6. 
and I don't have a 7 or 6 to play with to determine that one. Although it does create a pair here. So where does the 3 go? It's 3 places. 4 can go anywhere. 5 looks like it can pretty much go anywhere. 6 and 7 are done. What about 8? Eight? 8 has to go here. Okay. Now can I do 8s? Yep. 8. Better typing. One of those is 8. That's an 8. Okay, so one of these and one of these is an 8. Okay. How about 9s? So is there anything we can do with 9s? Yes, we can. That's 9. Mm, this is 9. Right? Yes. Let's see, what else do we have? So we've got one of these and one of these as 9s. Okay, that was pretty good. Sevens is probably going to be not enough quite yet. In this box, we've got four, six, and seven. But again, there's not quite enough to really go there. So let's go back to good little kill clues. So what's the next most logical one? We've done this one. We've done this one. We've mostly done this one. Done this one. Done this one. We have not done them 38. We've done that. We've done that. Have not done this 38. We've done that. Done that. We haven't done the 35. Okay. So one of those three. Let's check this 38. Eh, I don't really like that one. This 38 doesn't really have much either. Maybe it's the 35. Let's take a look there. What do we already have? We've got 6, 7, 8, 9. So we need 26 more. This could be 6, so we need 20 more. This can be the 8. What do I say? We need 20. So we need 12 now. The highest this can be is 7. So this has to be 5, because that's the very highest it can be. Right? Let's do the math again. 7, 5, 12, 14, 15, 23, what did I say? There's a 6, 29, 30, 35. Yep, so these are all maximums. That's 7, that's 6. It's going to unload some of this stuff. Let's do this first. That has to be the 5. This has to be the 8. This has to be the 6. So that 8 makes that 7. That 6 makes that 7. Uh, there's something else I think. Thought six makes that seven. Can we finish this one? Yeah, we must be able to. So it has to be 37. So we've got 10, 12, 19, 20, 30. So this is seven. Okay. Now that eight can finish off. Is that all the eights? It is. How about the nines? No, we've still got one more to go there. Sevens, I think, are better now. Yes, we can do this. And that. That should be all the sevens. Oops, shoot. Just smacked my mic. Let's get that back in there. How about sixes? Well, this has to be a six. Which means this has to be a four. This has to be a five. What do these have to be? Three and four, which means this has to be six. So these three and four, these are three and four. This is three or four. Oh, we got one right here. What is this? This is four. So we need the three, the six, and the nine. Nine can't be here, but three and well, six. It's one of these two, so it means it has to go there. This is now given five. These have to be three and four. These two are five and nine. That cannot be five. So that's nine, five, nine. This is four. 
three, four, three. Okay, these two have to be the three and the six. Those are not given yet. Three, six. Now this has to be three, six. Let's go to Sudoku and see what we can get. Ones are done. Twos are done. Three is not done. I can't do anything with it yet. Four. It's probably a little killer clue I could use using instead of this, but let's take a quick look here just to see if there's anything completely obvious. Yeah, that's a five. Sixes. In. These are sixes, which means this has to be a six, and this has to be a three, six, three. So these two are four and five. Is that correct? Yes, it is. These two have to be three and four. Well, this just has to be a four. So that has to be three. These have to be five and six. Five and six, and these have to be four and six. Okay, so we gotta use a little killer clue somewhere. Where is it at? Here we go. 38. So what do we got? We got nine, we got 20, 26, goodness me. 16, 20, 29. So we need nine more. So this has to be four. This has to be five. We're just going to set this all off. So cool. Let's go six and five and four and six. And there we go. Yay, congrats. You saw the puzzle. So a little under 17 minutes. Not bad. That was a nice little puzzle. Not a lot of rules, but it was pretty fun going around the grid to start. I think it started over here and kind of went around. And then we kind of just tightened in and tightened in on each little clear clue. So great. So that, against again, that was Gordian Knot by Full Deck and Missing a Few Cards. That uh, was an excellent Sudoku. Hope you enjoyed the solve. And I'll see you next time. Have a good one.